grade 4 math number 62, adding fractions with common denominators, also known as adding portions of the same size. Okay, a common denominator is a multiple that is shared by two or more fractions. Fractions have common denominators when they represent items that were cut into the same amount of pieces or parts. Okay? So, remember, a multiple is like the answer in a multiplication problem, okay? This 6 is the multiple of the 2 and 3. So, the common denominator is a multiple that is shared by two or more fractions, okay? So let's take a look at this. Fractions come in all shapes and sizes, but to add them or compare them, they need to be fractions, pieces or parts, of the same thing. See, we have a triangle cut in half and a circle cut in half. Half of a triangle can't be added to part of a circle to form a regular polygon. See? No matter how interesting it may turn out, we need apples to apples and oranges to oranges. Okay? Half of an apple can't be added to half of a banana. That would look weird, wouldn't it? But if they are both apples, it doesn't matter how many pieces or parts they are split into, but the pieces or parts are a lot easier to add or subtract if they are the same size. They're cut into the same size, which means they have a common denominator, okay? So, if you add half of an apple to half of an apple, it's easier. See? See the denominators are the same? And you can just put those two apple halves together, right? But, it's easier than adding half of an apple to an eighth of an apple. Apple, See? You can add these together. They can be added. It's just that this is easier, okay? Because they have a common denominator. A half plus a half is easier because the denominators are the same, all right? So let's look at two pies. This one's cut into six pieces, and this one's cut into six pieces. This pie plate has two pieces. This one has three pieces, okay? This is two-sixths, two parts of six, and this is three-sixths, three parts of six. Adding the two-sixths of the pie to the three-sixths of the pie is adding the same size pieces together. They have a common denominator, see? We're just putting these three pieces into that pan, see? They'll just end up being one little piece missing, right? It'll be five-sixths of a pie, two plus three, see? Now, if we have two pies that are cut into different sizes, this one was cut into thirds, this one was cut into eighths, two eighths plus one third would be adding two different size pie pieces together. They were cut into different sizes, they have different denominators. The denominator tells you the size of the piece, see? The bigger the denominator, the smaller the piece. The smaller the denominator, the bigger the pieces are. See? You could still add and put this pie piece into this plate because they're both identical pies, but it would be more difficult to add them together than if they were cut into the same size. Okay? So, when we add fractions that have the same denominator, the denominator just slides across. Three eighths of a pie plus one eighth of a pie would be four eighths of a pie. See? One fourth plus two fourths is three fourths. We add the numerator and slide the denominator across because they're all the same size cuts. Five sixteenths plus two sixteenths would be seven sixteenths. We slide the numerator across, the denominator across and add the numerator. See? Two eighths plus five eighths is seven eighths. We add the numerators and slide the denominator across, okay? Now, keep that in mind that they're all cut from the same size, okay? Now, because my videos follow the outline for the common core, we'll be covering different, adding different denominators when I get to the fifth grade math. So stay tuned for that. I'm making all my videos for the fourth grade math right now, so we'll get there, okay? I do have other fraction videos that will discuss this. Just type in, into the search on YouTube, Joanne School, adding fractions, and it should come up, okay?
It might even be adding fractions, different denominators, but it'll come up because they're there. They're in a fractions folder for Joanne's school. Okay? It says fractions. So, that is why adding common denominators are easier. That's what a common denominator is. Okay? And now you know that you can just slide the denominator across and add the numerator when the denominators are common. Okay? We're going to keep talking about fractions. We're going to talk about subtracting them next. Stay with me. I'll see you next video.